brought this uh, new kind of uh, fader, uh, Black Sand Cons. And it's two pounds. I guess it's available uh, uh, limited supply. So um, I highly recommend you get some. It's, it's the toughest one to do of all the bags. Okay. And out of that, you can see these rocks. This has been screened. This is a plus 20. It was screened with uh, Lori's. Uh, it was screened with this, actually, I do believe. Yeah. So that was what was uh, left in the. And you can see it is. It is. It's all sizes. And this is a tailing pile where Lori's panning into. You just dip the magnet in anywhere and pull it out and it's just loaded with sand. Black sand. You can just see it falling off. Do so, it again? Do it again? Do it again? I wasn't watching. You can just see the magnet loaded with iron, magnetite. Yeah. Good. And it just falls off. Now she's panning it dry. Here's what it looks like. It's just black. The whole thing. No matter how you look at it, it's just black. So she's using this, taking a little scoop. Putting it in a pan and slowly back panging it, it this down. This is the pan that I use. That's the pan that Lori's been using. There is the next batch. There's the amount that I put in it. Next batch to be uh, back panned. Cleaned up. Cleaned up. And here is the gold that she's pulling out. I don't have a wait till this. We'll wait till everything's gone through. And Looks to me like there'll be a couple grams there. Um, there was a little bit left too in the, the five pound bag and the five one pound bag, so we just added it to the, to the mix. When everything's all gone through, we'll get a weight. There you go. Takes a long time to go through this. Uh, Lori, how long does it take you to pan? Uh, that, that, that much of an amount? Um, about a half hour, and I don't use Magnet. I just straight keep back panning and cleaning it. And of course, this Flood Flower Gold trapped with it too, which uh, she's taken out with a snipper bottle. So, as far as gold content, I don't know. We'd have to At wait. At the end, I'll put it all in a pan with the yeah. fine gold that I've got in, in my snipper bottle here as well. I will this dry is, it. This here is the bottle. And get away to it. All the fine gold. You can see it at the bottom here now. At the bottom of the snipper bottle. That's all the fine gold that's in, in here. That will go into a pan at the end to show you what we got out of it all. <clears throat> so, this is the two pound Black Sand Cons bag. If you order this, this is what you can expect. Two pounds of just black sand. Black rocks and sand. Black rocks and sand. Heavy magnet rocks. They're hard to move in the <clears throat> in the pan when you're cleaning. Even the small ones get into the, what's green there. I get really small um, ones like that there. They don't move in the pan when you're when you're trying to clean it. They're very difficult to move. So it's hard to keep your gold in one area and the black sand and the magnetite pebbles in the other. Um, it's, it takes a lot of practice, I can tell you that. I enjoy it. It's what I love to do. So and they that's what I've been doing for Eric. They don't guarantee you uh, a weight either, so no one really knows, and won't know till we get through it. 
and each bag may be different. However, this is Dirt Hogs 2 pound Black Sand Cons, available limited time. Um, you want something challenging, get this. If you would like a serious challenge, then. Um, and for you new people, get the. Maybe try the normal stuff first. This is way out of your league. I do mean way out of your league. Um, for the experienced guys, hey, it's a heck of a challenge. Actually, for the new people, too, but good luck with that one. Yeah, you'll be at it a while. You'll be at it a while. And a teaspoon at a time. <laughs> As it says in Dirt Hogs, sing a teaspoon at a time. Keep that up, you'll do just fine. So, that ends this video, and uh, we I will post the results on uh, Dirt Hog site when... Uh, uh, everything's gone through and it's dried and get away to it. See you later. See you later.